introduce you to this lady who travels. She's been all over the world. And uh, I met her when she was very little. And uh, I, I was going to introduce her by her married name, Joyce Vasiliou. She married this gorgeous Greek guy. They <laughs> <laughs> live in Greece half the year. And the living for the rest of it. But anyway, I would like her to tell you the story of how I met my husband. <laughs> So I have a few notes to make sure I don't leave anything out. Um, so I'm just I'm really happy to be here today. I'm sure all of you will share. Okay. I'm sure all of you will share with um, this wonderful occasion to be able to share with Ed and Patsy your 50th anniversary. Um, what they kind of alluded to was I actually did introduce them when I think, I don't know, Ed, I was around seven or eight years old. That's why I have a, I get a, my honorary picture on the table here. Second grade. Second grade. So Ed is the eldest in our family, the eldest and the first son. I am number eight. Okay. And for those of you who have an older brother, it, there's a very special relationship. <laughs> I've been very fortunate because I have I had five older brothers <laughs> and two older sisters, and all of my brothers always have a special place in my heart, but not like Ed. Okay, Step forward to my okay. Yeah. So not only was Ed like, you know, my eldest, you know, brother, um, but he was also like my second father because he taught me how to drive. Um, he, he and Patsy actually took me to college in Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so there's many, many milestones I share not only with Ed, but also with Patsy. So how the story began was my father was working for NASA, and he was transferred to Huntsville, Alabama. And so, of course, we attended St. Mary's in Huntsville, Alabama, which was a Catholic grammar school. And I had the fortunate uh, case to be able to be in Miss Moore's class. <laughs> and let me tell you, there had there was never a teacher like Miss Moore. And I have never ever had a teacher like Miss Moore. <laughs> so compassionate, so loving. I remember coming home, you know, we started school in the middle, kind of middle of the year because we transferred in the middle of the year. So it's you know, it's quite difficult when you're transferring into a new school, not just for the first day, but the flights might be the school year. And she would kiss every child in that classroom goodbye. You know, just a peck on the cheek. And it was like amazing, just the warmth and compassion. And now, we'll have to talk about her fashion, too, because she was unbelievable fashion. I thought, how can I introduce this lady to my big brother? <laughs> and I did go home, and I said, Mom, Ed has to meet my teacher, Miss Moore. <laughs> so, how did we do that? Well, we had a school event, and my mom pulled it aside, and she said, this is your opportunity. And she probably said something to the extent, don't blow it. <laughs> and I, I still remember to this day my mom putting her hand behind my back and pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, because Miss Moore is a good Catholic girl. And you know, from the last of eight kids, you can understand we are a big Catholic family. So, And I can still remember her pushing my hand, and I remember looking up at Ed and said, come me. 
my teacher. So I did my part. <laughs> but I think the first date didn't go too well. Somebody had a flat tire. <laughs> Little Volkswagen bug had a flat tire, if I recall correctly, Ed. No phone, cell, you know, cell phones at that time. Miss Moore thought my big brother stood her up. <laughs> but somehow, I think Ed managed to convince her that we had a flat tire. And I could vouch for that because he's very honest, very ethical, has very good values. That's where it comes to being the eldest of his, you know, you know this, uh, eldest brother of all these kids because he has to have that tone at the top to set in the family. And I think we were able to convince Miss Moore to go out with you again. So, uh, so it's a good thing we knew one of us blew it, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, Looking back, I'm still amazed that Miss Moore took a step with us through all these years. <laughs> Probably had something to do with my nephew Teddy and my niece Emily. So anyway, I hope I haven't bored you, but that's that's the beginning of this story, and really very feel honored to be here today and share in this blessed occasion. And as I love you guys, and to another. Teddy's turn. Teddy's turn. Teddy's turn. Teddy's turn.